Welcome to the Vanguard, a cooperative board game for one to four players that allows you to explore a vast galaxy, command and upgrade your ship, conduct research, manufacture equipment, and land on countless worlds, all the while solving a great mystery of an Aeon's old star map embedded in our DNA. Tutorial. Estimated playtime, three to four hours. Players, one to four, one recommended. Campaign. Estimated playtime, 20 to 60 hours. Here it is, ISS Vanguard. A box. The camera only sees my cat right now. <laughs> Hello. I might actually have to stand up for this because it is enormous. All right, here it is. Open here. Dear Backer. Oh. There's a nice, kind thank you letter to everybody who supported the game. They are extremely grateful. Well, this is just, I mean, people on, I mean, I don't think I've even got the stretch goals here, Heggers. So really, we'll be putting the game through its paces in the sense that, um, in the sense that, you know, it's got to function without all the bells and whistles, right? This is going to be just the mechanisms and the tokens and the whatnots. So we'll see, uh, this is just the core box. So nothing extra. So, but you know, all of those extra bits, hopefully, uh, hopefully are the, the game itself is not... Hopefully there's a good game here, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, there's lots of instructions around the outside of the box as well. I'll you, show you guys in a minute. Punch board! Oh, all the, the, the monsters and the baddies. Don't look at that. <laughs> Here's the eight step process for putting it away again. <laughs> I'm sorry, seven steps. My bad. <laughs> at least they, uh, at least they put it out there, right? We got the rule book, as expertly written by Paul. There you are, Paul. Your name's right there in the rule book. Look. Look at all those components. Apparently, there's eight crew member models anyway. One to four players. We've got, these are the, uh, the inserts, I guess, for the, yeah, so this will be the, the inserts for the binder. This is the binder itself. Spaceship binder. <laughs> this, this is kind of amazing. It's kind of amazing how this is a thing. <laughs> well, this says page one on it, so I'm just going to go out on a limb here. Don't make an assumption, but do you think I can just pop this into here like this? There's the star map. I mean, this in theory, as a sort of a concept, is really neat. And I remember quite uh, quite liking this on um, the, in the, pro the, the tabletop simulator prototype that we played. So I hope that um, we don't have any. We don't seem to have any pockets though. So I guess that's coming in time. This is my number two most anticipated game right now that I want to play. What's number one, Paul? What's number one? You have to tell us what's number one. Ralph says, I hope I can get the extra dice at Essen. We will need the to insert the card holders in between. Let's take a look. 
The Planetopedia. Don't flip through this. It's full of spoilers. The Dragonfly on the front as well, which is the little ship that you take down to the planet's surface. And that's how you land there. I mean, I do really like the art in this game. It's really gorgeous. Secret envelope. Do not open until instructed. Okay. I won't. And then we've got two little books here. System maps. Oh, yes. This is the actual systems that you fly the ship around in. I mean, again, spoilers, so let's not look at those, I guess. I guess that was a sneak preview. I don't know how... I these things are hard to unbox, actually, because I, so much of it is secret. Oh, this is the comic book that gives you the prologue. This is probably telling us what the ISS Vanguard is doing out there in space and all of that. This is uh, this little book here has all of that um, classic ISS Vanguard comic book style. As well. Oh, that's reminiscent of something. I think we did I think we did look at like this comic book or at least this prologue in um I think I actually have seen this before. This feels very familiar. I wonder if they put it out as like a little bonus with ether fields or if we saw it during the prototype. But it just sort of tells you about what they're uh how they why, what what the ISS Vanguard is doing and why it went out into space. Actually, this looks different. It looks like there's more here. Um, a bit more going on here. Here we go. So, operations book. Now, if I remember correctly from the prototype, this is the... Uh, oh. You will mark and fill in this book as you play. Instead of this paper copy, you may use the official app. If you need another paper copy of the logbook, please download and print the most up-to-date version from our website. Hey, that's good um, that you can do that. So this is, yeah, if I remember correctly, this is like the choose your own adventure story bits. Um, operations are standalone missions that are not part of the campaign. Oh, cool. That's cool that they've put that in. Okay, so here's the dragonfly. I remember this from the prototype. I think... Did we get the dragonfly? I can't remember. I think we did actually upgrade our little ship at some stage. Or did we start with the space ranger? I don't remember. Which one we actually had. It's all there on the internet anyway, so you can go and find it and look at it if you want to. Um, the way gate. And the void ranger. Well, I want that. I don't know what that is. I don't know where the crew would live either. I guess we have to become particles of light. Oh, All right, here are my little wallets. I'm going to have to go through and insert these into the thing, but um, not to worry. We don't have to do that on stream. These look pretty good. The player boards. Recessed player boards are always nice. So if you're playing solo, Paul, do you play all four sections? That's, I think, how we did it on uh, the stream. I mean, I, I didn't play solo, but we actually played, I think, two a mixture of two and three players. And um, we had four sections and just kind of split them up, I think. And here are the miniatures. And I'm pleased to report, Eddie, that none of them have melted. They've used the, uh, I thought this was, um, I didn't actually see that they were doing this on ISS Vanguard. Um, I thought this was a, uh, something Louis Magnus were doing on the Breach, or Breach, but, uh, I guess they're doing it on ISS Vanguard as well, but they've, you've got the two-tone plastic, uh, type there as well. Probably looks great. Um, I mean, this miniature actually looks pretty good. 
we are now attempting to insert the base into the ISS Vanguard so that it can look like it's actually flying. There we go. Look at that. Epic. Ready for adventure. So here we've got the sections, folks. Hey, I think this is the one I played in the in the in the um prototype because I liked the robot dog. Do you know what these remind me of actually the aesthetics of these characters? They really remind me of Isaac from Dead Space and also of the Knights from Hellgate London, if anyone remembers that video game that died to death before anyone played it. Um, but there was a very specific look to those figures and it just really reminds me of that. this one I too am very excited for Frostpunk oh, sorry not for you mean uh, oh Frostpunk not Frosthaven okay that's interesting I read Frosthaven I also have Frostpunk If we're out on a peaceful mission to discover the divine coordinates, why do we need so many guns? It's just a thought. Can we not make friends with the aliens? Is this in case the crew mutiny? I'm a terrible captain. <laughs> what if there was a, an ending where, like, you're such a bad captain that the crew mutiny, and then they're like, get him out of here. And then it, the game's like, okay, well, you're disposed, deposed as captain and locked in the brig. And then uh, you just, uh, you miss, uh, you just have to put the game, the game's like, pack it away. You're done. <laughs> you're not playing Captain Picard, I guess. I'd like to play Captain Picard. He's great. I would happily just reenact Captain Picard's adventures. But my understanding is this is not like Star Trek in the sense that there's not a populated universe, but rather you know, we head off in, in, into space, um, uh, having been given this sort of information about how to do that mysteriously. And when we get there, we discover some, some stuff, but not like, um, it's not like, you know, sort of we're coexisting with known alien races or anything like that, you know, like, yeah, like Star Trek. This is the Xeno, or Exo, I don't know, something, Xenobiologist. He's found a plant. It's a good plant. So here are the crew members from the core box. In all their glory. <laughs> Eddie, I'm talking about the next generation Picard, not the movie Picards, and not the Picard Picard. <laughs> What have we got going on here? So now I think this. So here are the dices. Dices? Oh, look at that. They've even labeled the little baggies so you know what goes in there. Uh, if I remember correctly, the dice are kind of like how you level up and do things on the planet. You have to get the dice and unlock them um, to unlock new abilities. And if you run out of dice, then you can't do anything else. Um, and the different faces on the dice give you different sort of functions.
capabilities. But I'll be learning all of this from Paul's extremely well-written um, how to play guide live on the internet later this week, I think. I'm going to try to do it before we go away to Essen. I can't promise it'll happen, but it might. Oh, they did actually give out section boxes in here. Oh, this is great. So these are how you, like, save the characters and stuff. They made some really nice versions of these. But I'm really glad that they've actually put some in the game box as well. Um, so you can just... So you save your character more easily. I really like the system they did for the cards, actually, uh, in Etherfields. So I'm glad that it looks like they've sort of borrowed from that. I mean, so far this looks really well thought out. How much of the cards do you guys actually want to see? Because um, they're all spoilers, so I can't really show you them, really. In fact, I don't even really want to look at them. Before your first game, before you can enjoy the ISS Vanguard, there are several preparation and unpacking steps you must complete. Since all of these steps can take some time, we recommend performing them in advance of your first play session and not live on the internet. Ah, they're... They actually have, you probably can't see this on the camera too well, they actually have indents. You can see the, the A there, and this one's got the B on it, so you actually know which tree is which as well. So there you go. Oh yes, the sleeves! I forgot about the sleeves. There's like a whole mechanism, right, where you're like, um, sleeving characters and things into card sleeves in order to upgrade them or some such. Any little papers here to keep track of something? I don't know what. Planetary exploration or something. Here's your little notepad. I mean, have they actually packed these in the correct boxes? That's quite clever. Equipment, equipment, dividers, planet cards, resting crew. Yeah, it looks like uh, all the cards that should be in the B Divider come in the B Divider, which is very good. And then all the cards that should be in the A Divider come in the A Divider, which is also very good. So we've got Point of Interest cards here, Point of Interest cards here, Point of Interest cards here. I seem to be missing Point of Interests of a here. So these are, there's many, many interesting points for you to explore when you're out there. If I remember correctly, these are all locations on planets, so the uh, the point of interest cards, you'll be instructed to, you know, find these as you explore the planet. So really, I can't really show you guys much of these because it will just spoil even what you might see uh, on the planet. However, I think I can successfully show you this one if I cover up the number of the card, then you won't know what number this card is, and then I can show it to you without spoiling it. So here it is, um, a, a point of interest card with exciting card art. There we go. That didn't really spoil int anything. Somewhere out there, there's nothing interesting. But you'll never know where. Unless you find it for yourself in the game. <laughs> I've done it. I've spoiled. I've spoiled it. I'm cancelled. They've all got individual art. The card stock is great, actually. I do like a good card stock, and this card stock is 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 it feels really nice. That's Andrew McVeigh, by the way. He's an advisor, so he'll advise you. And this is Millie Peters. She's an alpha, so she's going to boss you around to tell you what to do. <laughs> this is Sophia Ben. She cosplays as an owl <laughs> for some reason. I uh, These are great. I love these. I love this artwork as well. This guy looks like a wizard, so I need him on my team. Just put all the wizards on my team. I mean... His, his magical power is that he's alert, which means that he's had enough coffee this morning. Wow, I'm, I'm really impressed that they've done just like unique art for all of these characters. It's really quite amazing. I 
I guess they want you to feel really... Wow. Elizabeth looks a little bit like she's uh, in need of a nap. But I guess they want you to really get a sense of the sort of the characters and your team as you're going through the story, which is really nice, actually. Hopefully that really comes across as we play through the game. It's, uh, it's one of the things I really liked about um, Kingdom Death Monster. Like, you got really attached to those characters. Over the course of the game. Yeah, it's Doctor Strange. What's he, what's he doing here? Javier Aguero. I think I need him on my team. He looks like he's seen some, some stuff. Don't talk to me about space. <laughs> There's some plastic stands for the the figures, enemy figures, some rubber stands for the miniatures, player miniatures, and a little bag here. This is Isis Vanguard on it. I don't know what we'll be putting in the bag. Dice, maybe? Is this for leveling up the dice? I think it is. <laughs> oh, Paul, that would be amazing. Take the week off work. Go play with Paul. That would be so good. <laughs> Next time, don't invite me. <laughs> Next time, let's do that. Not the week before. We all drive off to Essen. Trust them to... Re Trust them to deliver one of the most hyped games right before we all go off to Essen. Oh, no, the ISS Vanguard doesn't fit on its stand in the box. Oh, and also, where did they all go? No! This is the worst. It's at 0 out of 10. Unplayable. I need a diagram. Help, help. Oh, it's on the side of the box, but it's not big enough. I can't, I can't see. It's not helpful. <laughs> it's all right. I'll figure it out. There's only however many possible combinations. Oh no, he doesn't fit into any of them. Maybe he lives there. Does it matter so long as they fit? This dog guy was definitely up here, I think. There we go. I feel like we've done it. I think we did it. I think I think everything's gonna be okay, folks. But actually, I'm and now I'm looking at this. I'm actually really hyped to play it. This looks great. Super excited. I'm not following the correct instructions for putting this away. They, they printed it right on the side of the box. They're like, here's how you put it away. And I'm like, I'll figure it out. Don't tell me what to do. And then step four of seven is everything else sits in the groove on the binder. Except it's still too tall. And then this goes in like, this is not going to fit. You know what? I'll figure it out off camera. Rather than making you all watch me try to pack this game away. Ooh, the planets. Don't look at them. Especially don't look in the secret envelope. Hype. 